guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm super excited for today's video because it's not sponsored. <laughs> Yesterday was my 20th birthday. I hate saying that, <laughs> but it was my 20th birthday. I don't know, like I know 20 isn't old, but I just feel so old being 20. Anyway, yesterday was my 20th birthday and I know everybody does 20 things I learned by the time I was 20, but I really did want to like do this because, I don't know, I really do feel like I have a lot of advice to offer and I love helping people and I love talking about experiences. So this is right up my alley and it's something that I hope at least one of you take to heart. So yeah, these are just 20 things I learned by the time that I was 20 years old and they're pretty broad but um, they do have a lot of meaning to them and every single thing has... Um, a story behind it which I'm not really gonna go in depth about. If you guys are new to my channel be sure to subscribe. I am planning on uploading a ton more videos. I know I've been really MIA from YouTube lately but and you guys don't want excuses but I do I plan on uploading a lot more videos so be sure to subscribe to my channel and if you guys want to stay updated with me I've been really working on my Instagram lately so follow my Tori Sterling Instagram and I also have a fitness Instagram called Tori Sterling Fitness where I post my recipes, my workouts, grocery hauls, all that sort of stuff. I'm also opening up a spin studio, so if you guys want to follow that, it's Stride Spin Fitness. And that is all of my social medias, so let's get into the video. Like I said, with a lot of these, they don't necessarily, they aren't going to be like elaborated on, sometimes the phrase is enough. Um, so let's just get into it. So number one is the road less traveled is often the most rewarding. I'll get into why on that in a little bit, but just know that it's okay to make your own path in life and it's okay to not follow tr the traditional route because it might not make you happiest and it might not be best for you. Number two is that you learn from your mistakes. And from this, what I really mean is that I want you to make mistakes. I am a person that learns by doing. My mom could tell me something a hundred times, but I just wouldn't listen to her and I had to experience it for myself. And I wouldn't actually learn from my mistake until I did it myself. And you know what? That always worked for me. I was never a crazy kid. I never like did anything insane in my teen years, but my parents gave me a lot of freedom to pretty much do whatever I wanted. But they also always told me that they were always there for me whenever I messed up and I needed their help. Number three is ask for help. It's not a sign of weakness to ask for help. It's not a sign of being immature to ask for help. I think it's actually very mature when you do ask for help because you acknowledge that you don't know everything and that someone else does and you need their help and you need their guidance and I think that's something to be applauded. So whenever you need help, ask for it. Number four, act like the person you want to be friends with. Your vibe attracts your tribe. I love that statement and you really have to be the person that you would want to be friends with yourself. Number five, people will always have something to say about you, whether it's positive, negative, somewhere in between, people are always gonna talk. You just have to focus on yourself and what makes you happy. Number six, the law of attraction is real. I firmly believe in it, so picture the life that you wanna live and it will happen. Um, if you guys don't know what the law of attraction is, I highly recommend to watch The Secret on Netflix, and it's I think it's like an hour and a half documentary. Just watch it and be ready for your life to change. Number seven, work hard. I know it sounds so simple, but like you really have to work if you want something. What you, your dreams in life aren't just gonna fall on your lap. Yeah, sometimes people like on the sense of YouTube, they get lucky, you know? Like someone can gain like a million subscribers and like lucky them. But you have to work. If you want something in your life, you gotta work for it. It's not just gonna fall on your lap. It's not just gonna show up one day. You have to go after your dreams and you have to work for them. Number eight is you are never too old or too young to follow your dreams. I really encourage you guys to shock the world with your age and your ambition. Number nine is something that is hard, but something that I've tried to do my whole life which is to be the bigger person always no matter what the situation is be the bigger person number 10 is every single day of your life is borrowed time nothing in this life is guaranteed waking up tomorrow living for another minute is not guaranteed anything can happen at any single moment and it's really important to live the life that makes you happiest now happiness is different for every single person whenever I say do what makes you happy like do what you want to do a lot of people think I want to go to like ultra or Coachella or I want to travel the world that's awesome if that's what makes Makes you happy but for me what makes me happy is hanging out with my parents hanging out with Matt going to the mall going to work out going to get a matcha latte like I just like simple little things in life and that's what makes me happy that doesn't mean we're living life wrong it just means we live separate different lives which is good and you should appreciate that the traditional path meaning high school to college to a normal job is not for everybody 
it's okay to stray from your normal traditional path that has sort of been paved out for you. Number 12 is that your parents are always gonna have your back at the end of the day and they will always have your best interests in mind. Number 13 ties back into number 11, which is find your passion and make it your lifestyle. Number 14, along with everything that I'm saying, this one's also important and that it's okay to not know what you wanna do in your life. It's okay to not know what you wanna do. It's fine to, you know, take a year to travel, explore, stay home, work, write, read. It's okay to not know, it's okay to ask for help, and it's okay to be stuck in life. Okay, this is a big one that it's like sort of not related, but it's not related at all. Um, if you are getting, if you're at a party and all your friends are getting blackout drunk and you don't want to drink, don't drink. Like you don't have to drink to be cool with your friends and like to fit in with your friends. Also, you don't have to fake drunk to like act like you should belong there. And if your friends are like, oh, come on, like just drink with us. Like, why don't you drink with us? Like, that's so lame. Just be like, I don't want to. Like, you have more alcohol then. Like, drink the more alcohol. Like, I don't want it. Like, I don't know. You do not have to drink if you don't want to. I feel like so many kids growing up start drinking when they're like 13, 14, which if that's what you're into, like whatever. But I mean, it's just like, I don't know, like I remember being in ninth grade and there was a huge party and everybody drank and I obviously wasn't invited, but I heard about it on Monday when everyone got back to school and I was like, oh my God, like people are drinking and we're like 14 years old. Like I was shocked, right? And then like a year later when I did get invited to a party, everyone was drinking and I was like, what is this? And I just never liked drinking. I never liked being buzzed. I don't think I've ever been drunk in my entire life because I just don't like the feeling of it. Um, I don't like drinking. I don't like anything. I don't like the taste. Like nothing about it I enjoy. If you don't want to do what all your friends are doing, don't do what they are doing. Literally just don't do it. It's that simple. Have fun being sober. It's really fun actually. It's super fun. Number 16 is to say yes a little bit more. I'm always uptight and I'm always one to stay in my comfort zone and I like to say no to a lot of things because I like to like know what's going on and all that sort of stuff. But say yes a little bit more, take some risks, do something that you wouldn't normally do. And you know what, if you mess up from it, circling all the way back to number two, it's okay to make mistakes because you learn from them. Number 17 is write to-do lists. This was just something that I thought was really important to add. And then honestly, I didn't think of 18, 19, and 20. I couldn't come up with anything. So I guess I'm just gonna make some up on the fly. Number 18, not every YouTuber needs to live in LA. I tried that, hated LA. Not my thing. Number 19, um, this is a three. Number 19 is, it's okay to get back with your ex-boyfriend. I can do an entire video of how I'm mad and I got back together if you guys want to know that because I've been getting a ton of questions about it. And let's see, number 20, what should number 20 be? Ooh, good one for number 20 that I really love. Respect is earned by giving it away. If you want people to respect you, you have to respect them, and that's the bottom line. So yeah, that is 20 things I learned by the time that I was 20 years old. Hope you guys all enjoyed this video. I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye!